Hello everyone, welcome to Theme Grill. So in this video, I'll show you how to instantly create WordPress registration forms using the user registrations pre-built form templates. You'll be able to choose from a plethora of different registration form templates. You can import it to your site and you can hit the ground running within minutes. And all those new users will be subscribed into your WordPress site. And that's not it. The plugin I'm going to show you in this video has a lot of other exciting features as well. So yeah, I guess let's just get started with the video. But before we do, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Okay, so here we are within a fresh new WordPress installation. So to get started creating instant registration forms for your WordPress site, let's first go within plugins and add new plugin. Simply search for user registration, that is user space registration, enter, and you should be able to see the user registration and membership plugin right here. Simply click on install now. And once it has been installed, you can click on activate. And as soon as the plugin has been activated, you'll be redirected to their setup wizard. Now from in here, you can simply click on get started. You don't have to spend a lot of time here. I'm going to allow this. So basically by default, this plugin is going to give you a registration form, a registration page, and a my account page. But yeah, besides that, all these settings in here, you can change them later on as per your wish. But right now I'm going to skip through all of them. So yeah, simply gonna click on next and we're all done. So now let's go ahead, let's go back to our dashboard. So here we are within the user registration dashboard. Now by default, this form gives you a registration form. As I said before, I can simply click here on edit within the all forms menu. And this right here is our form builder within which we have this very basic default registration form. So this right here is the form builder. I can drag and drop all these different fields into the form. But yeah, for this video, we're not going to touch on the default form. Instead, I'll show you how to add a new form so yeah in here once you click on add new underneath user registration then you'll be able to see all these different templates here that you can choose from you've got a recapture registration form a sports camp registration form student registration form employee blood donation there is like so many form templates in here and also they're constantly adding new form templates but yeah whatever form template you want to use you can get started with it by simply clicking on get started and yeah, if you want to create one from scratch, create your own very custom WordPress form, then yeah, you can do that as well. But for now, I'm simply going to click on get started on this student registration form. I'm going to give it a name, student registration, click on continue. And yeah, let me X out of this. So again, back to the form builder, this right here is our basic student registration form. First of all, let me show you a preview of this form. There it is, this is our basic registration form. Now, whenever a user fills out this form, they submit it, they'll also be added as a user within our WordPress site. So if you go here within the users menu, after a user fills out the form, they'll be added in here as well. So basically they will be subscribed to your website with their email. So now that you've imported the form, let's talk about how to use it. If you want to make small changes to this form, like suppose in this form template right here, I don't see a phone field. So if I want to add a phone field in here, then I can get a number field just like so. Where do I add it? I'm just going to add it right there for now. And I can click on this form field and the field options will be shown right here for that field. So I can go right here. I can change the label of the field, maybe change it to phone number. If I want to make this field required for form submission, then I can do that as well. I've got many other settings in here, but yeah, this is how you would drag and drop in new fields within the form. If you want to change the form layout, you can simply add new columns. And yeah, you can change the layout to double column, triple column, to whatever you like basically. And yeah, once that is done, once once you're satisfied with your form, you can simply click on publish form. And now to preview this form on your website, you can either copy this short code right here and you can paste this short code anywhere on your site. Or if I go within pages here, I have a registration page. Let me edit this page. Yeah, just like I said before, you can use a short code or let me delete the short code. What I can do is I can add a registration form block, which is given by the user registration plugin, simply drag and drop it into our page and select the student registration form, the form that we just imported. And yeah, there it is. I can click on save. And if I preview this page, then there it is. This right here is our form. So now let me open this page up in an incognito window and let me try to interact with it like a user would. So this right here is our form. I'm a user. I fill out all the information in here. And once that is done, I'm simply going to click on submit. But before I do that, let me change my password to something I will remember. And by the way, you can also change the password strength in here if you want to from within user registration settings. So yeah, just letting you know. So there you go. 
I've got my email address set, my password set, all the other information has been set. Now, if I click on submit, there you go. It says the user has successfully been registered. So now let me go back to my admin window here, go back to my WordPress dashboard. And now if I go within our users menu right here, you can see that the new user has been subscribed to our WordPress site with the subscriber role. And yeah, if I click on view, and yeah, if I click on this user profile right here, I'll be able to see all the information that they have filled out even the custom fields that we had within our WordPress form, you can see user extra information. So yeah, these are all the different fields that WordPress does not natively support. So yeah, I can view all that information from in here as well. So yeah, there you go. This is how you can create form templates for any of your needs. And also let me show you one more thing. If I go here back to our form templates, some of these form templates in here, it says plus or personal. This basically means these form templates require premium version of the plugin because some of the fields that they're using within the form, those are premium fields. Like in this case, I'm guessing that the profile picture field is a premium field. So that is why you'll have to purchase the premium version of this plugin. So yeah, just letting you know. And by the way, the premium version does not just give you access to these form templates. They give you access to a whole bunch of extensions right here to create a really robust registration system for your website. You've got SMS integration. You can even collect payments from your registration forms. You can, you can have coupons, you can restrict content on your site there is so so much so yeah check out the premium version as well to get the premium version of this plugin if you go to their site wpuserregistration.com go within their pricing page you'll be able to see all their different plans you can choose the one that fits your needs it is a standard checkout process after which you'll get an email from where you can access the zip file for the premium version and your license key and once you have those you can come back to your wordpress site go within plugins add new plugin upload you can choose the zip file that you just downloaded you can click on install you can activate the plugin after that and yeah once it has been activated you can go within user registration settings go within license and in here you can activate the license key that you'll get within your WPRS dashboard the info for this will be sent to your email after you've purchased the plugin so yeah, just letting you know we can copy the license key you can paste it in here, you can activate it. And there you go, our license key has been activated. And if I go here with an add new, I'll be able to access all these different form templates in here. And as well as the extensions page, from where I can access all these different extensions that were previously grayed out. So yeah, that's about it for this video. So I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. I'm Sid and I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.